our first epiphany poem to to a waterfowl. Uh, quick term, waterfowl. This is uh, this just means a bird that lives in the water. So it's a duck or a goose. As we all know, ducks uh, migrate. They fly either they fly to the south in the in the winter time so that they can go to warmer lands. They fly to the north in the summertime um, where they build their nests. So what's going on here is we've got a poet who is watching and he sees a waterfowl, a duck or a goose, fly across the sky. And we know that it's midst the dew, among the dew, while the heavens are glowing with the last steps of day. So we know that this bird is flying at sunset. So picture a scene where a bird appears, a duck appears, and he flies across the sky um, at sunset time. And we know that this bird, this, this waterfowl is going somewhere, but um, the poet asks where, and he uses the word whither instead of where, because it's, well, he wants a particular sound. So he says, whither, midst the falling dew, while glow the heavens with the last steps of day, far through their rosy depths, dost thou pursue thy solitary way. Now, one of the things we could do is just, if we forget that all that stuff is here, um, if we ignore that stuff, then um, we get, whither dost thou pursue thy solitary way? In other words, where are you going? So the poet asks this bird where he's going or she's going. Now, one of the things that we have to remember is literary terms. In this case, when you ask a duck where he's going, clearly you don't expect the duck to reply to you. You don't expect that duck to know, uh, to be able to say where he's going. And therefore, this is called apostrophe. So we have an apostrophe here. We have a speech to this waterfowl. Then he talks about how hunters, a fowler's eye might mark thy distant path to do thee wrong. Then he speculates about where he's going. Seekest thou the plashy brink of weedy lake or marge of river wide, or where the rocking billows rise and sink on the chafed ocean side? Uh, there are questions, and all these questions are never answered. However, however, he does know that this, that this waterfowl knows where to go. Um, and so, he concludes that the, the, this waterfowl knows where to go for a reason. Knows where to go for a reason. Um, and he says, somebody, there's a power out there whose care teaches thy way along that pathless coast. In other words, the bird might appear to be wandering, but it is not lost. And he says that that same power, he, God, who from zone to zone guides the boundless sky, thy certain flight in the long way that I must trace alone will lead my steps aright. In other words, the duck listens to some inner power. The moral of the story, hey, I too can listen to this inner power to know how to lead my life, where to go. So the big metaphor for today is the duck knows where to go because it listens to its own inner power that comes from God. Therefore, why not me? That's all there is to it.